All right, dude, what are we doing today? Today we are playing Spectral versus Generation, a PSP fighting game that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, so the PSP is ready to go. That's right. And this is a pretty, you know, we love our, our 2D fighting games and everything like that. And, and I love the PSP. Mm -hmm. And honestly, there's not a lot of, that, that I watch, of Let's Plays of PSP games. So I'm pretty excited here. Yeah, it's me cool. too, man. And this is a really cool fighting game, like I said, nobody really knows about. So we love our fighting games. So let's get started. All right. And so for those of you that don't know, the PSP is pretty cool because it has a video out. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, there's a little uh, there's a little cord at the bottom of this. The, the 2000, 2000 and up, yeah. Yeah, can do video out, which is amazing. So we're watching on our HD television, capturing on a laptop here. So see, I'm, I'm gonna go with the samurai guy because they always pretty cool to use. So. so you you recommended this game because you, you're always talking about well, fighting games, and I'm always I, clueless. I always want like well, I, well with fighting games, you know, they're they're not that many out there that are really good and they're well they are, there are but you have to kind of look for them because they're kind of it's like kind of a niche uh genre i would say yeah like, especially uh, for people like me trying to get, mm -hmm. get my my feet wet a little bit with it right 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 so uh with that with saying that and everything uh this game is uh pretty much on point and i think you guys will like what you see now is this exclusive to the psp or no it came out on ps2 okay uh, in pal territories and in japan uh, and but, it was just ported to the PSP. Yeah, the easiest one to get is the PSP because PSP is, is not region modded. I mean, not region modded, but it's region free. So. I see. So we go do. A okay, so it's a it's a it's a two D animated fighter. Right, right. Very cool. So I'll do my fireball motion here and see what he does. He does that little slash, which is cool. So so describe the, the controls for me. Uh, it's four buttons and everything. It's pretty simple. Yeah. There's a hard hit. Uh, there's where there's light punch, which which is that medium punch. It's like a poke. And then a hard slash, which is that. And an X, the last one, is some kind of kick. So kind of in the same controls as Samurai Showdown in a way. Like, Because uh, Samurai Showdown has a kick button and the rest are like all slashes, hmm. which is pretty cool. So this one. You know, the, the two fighting games I, I played, I played and beat, I yeah. think, the original Mortal Kombat on, on, on Super Nintendo. Oh, man. And you know what I did? I basically just did uh, uh, leg kicks because uh -huh. it was broken, basically. Like, you could, yeah. there were some moves that the computer just could not... Uh, defend against. Mm -hmm. So I beat the whole game like that, which is kind of cheating. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I just did a cool move just now. And oh. I, I barely know how, to, how I pulled it off, but it was pretty easy, it seems. But uh, yeah, I love man, love 2D fighting games, man. I just can't get enough of these games. They don't, they don't. I don't, I don't see too many being made like this anymore with sprites and everything because now they're kind of doing the 2.5D type right, graphics. Right, right. So uh, and this looks fantastic. I yeah, know. this guy looks pretty tough. Do you play a lot of PSP fighting games, or? I did back in the day. Okay. Uh, I didn't know about too many on the system uh, besides Guilty Gear and Blast Blue. Hmm. Uh, but there's Street Fighters on there and stuff like that. But there's not many I know about, so I wanted to kind of reach out and see what else was out there. And that's how I found out about this game. I found out about this game by I can't really remember, but I was um, somebody told me about it. Right. And I just said, yeah, I need to get this, and I bought it immediately. <laughs> huh. Even the PS2 version. But like I said, this version is the best one to get because, of course, you can output it to the TV. Yeah. No lag, you know. Yeah, totally. there's not. It's amazing. This guy is pretty good. You the, know, the, I, I won't be able to pronounce his name, but I'll just call the, him The Sam. character that you're playing? Yeah. I'll just call him Samurai Guy. Now, some of these some oh. of these fighting games obviously have a ton of, of like story in them and stuff like that. I like that. That's why you I usually try to get the English version so I can read a little bit. Okay. You know, well, you know about the character a little bit. It kind of gives you motivation to, you know, well, to use them or, you know. Again, getting back to Mortal Kombat, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you know, you yeah. got into the whole lore of it, right? Yeah, like, you know? my favorite character was Johnny Cage. Uh, still is. Oh, yeah. Even though they kind of changed him up way too much in Raiden. Yeah, like, two Raiden wins. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch the Mortal Kombat movie back in the day? The very first one yeah. is really good. Yeah, it still like, holds up. Today. You tell people that, and they don't believe you. And like, yeah. no, 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 trust me, go watch that movie. It, it's a... It's a it's a fun movie. It is, and the fight I can think about the most is the fight between a uh, uh, Luke Kang and, and a reptile. Oh, hmm. that fight was fantastic. You guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah. I haven't seen it so long, but uh, it came up on Netflix a while ago, and I, I tried to convince Rebecca to watch it. And, she uh, wasn't having no. it. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Man. I know. Okay, so oh look at that! Wow. Okay, I'm starting to feel it. See, a, pe a lot of people think fighting games are like. You have to be tournament based and everything. Like, you know, you could play for a casual for a good time, you know. Tournament based like, meaning like, like. Like going in tournaments and you have to go against other people all the time oh, or whatever. Oh, you, know? I see, you know, okay. I, I came up playing these games like just going against the computer and fighting and looking forward to fighting the main tough boss at the end, you know. That's yeah. what I look forward to. Uh, 
I see a lot of kids today now, they're in these tournaments, which is fine, but some of them get pissed when they lose. Like, jeez. Now, like, so, so you you play a lot of fighting games. Are, are you big into the to the um, arcade controllers as well? I was. I was, but I'd never really fought in turn. No, they had that controller is the is the best way to get the feel to do moves and everything like that. Because it's like the arcade. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, these games are built on arcade engines, uh, pretty much so. Right. Uh, I used to have a bunch of those fight sticks, but you only really need one. So I only have one now, thankfully. Right. But playing on those gives you a good experience of how these games are. Uh, lots of fun. And that, having a big controller like that is, is just really awesome to play these games on. Especially because it's heavy and it doesn't mm -hmm. move around, so it's very, yeah. And the buttons are bigger, too, yep. obviously. Yeah. I try to get her. Oh, she's. Oh, you see that? thought I was about to do something cool. Now I'm just running buttons together. Oh, she's waiting to come back. I got her. Huh. <laughs> I see. So there's like a max. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're building up some. some I was trying to do a super move on her, but I just got her with a poke, and huh. that was it. This girl, I remember fighting her. She's pretty tough. That last fight looked kind of intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looked like she was trying to make a comeback on me, but I held my own. Okay, let's see what she's got. And okay. oh. the, the other thing too, I think a lot of people. A lot of people who don't play these kind of games are like, oh, they're just button mashers. But you can't really win by just button mashing. No, no, because uh, if the enemy, well, if you if you button mash, I mean, uh, it can only it could work sometimes, but it's not reliable. I would say, like, you, you really want to learn something, them, right? yeah, exactly. Or somebody could just jump over you and just get you know and then copy you like that or whatever. So you definitely don't want to button mash. You could button mash against somebody who don't know what they're doing, maybe, but right. somebody who knows how to play these games, no, you're gonna get beat up. And are you blocking a lot as well? Not really. I don't have to because I'm, I'm I'm avoiding a lot of attacks. It seems okay. at least against her right now. But uh, she blocked that. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, I was about to do something like oh yeah, I'm not blocking that. <laughs> Let's see this. I wish I'd do some kind of like cool combo super move. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Wow. Now I forgot how to do the move. I don't. There it is. Wow. That's cool. How did you do that? I did the push pressing two buttons, doing a half circle on the controller like backwards. So uh, You kind of roll on your thumb. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not using the analog. I'm actually using the D-pad, though. Okay. Oh, oh, oh you're, you're doing it with your left hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, the analog on the PSP, I would. I don't know if I recommend it for fighting games because uh, it's so small. But you can, you can try it, though. But it's like, nah, got her. So, so far, I'm having, I'm, I'm getting through these enemies pretty easily, but from what I remember back in the day when I fought the boss, the boss I couldn't beat. Oh, really? So, I think I'm all, I'll be there pretty soon. Oh, yeah, that's why you have to hand it off to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hand it off and let you try it out. I'll First button time. mash and probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man, these, these games are just, I don't know, they, there's a lot of detail went into, like, 2D fighting games. I figured, like, I, I remember reading an article back in the day about how... Uh, it took six months to do each character in Street Fighter 3 because so much animation went into them. Huh. Which was amazing. So, uh, you know, knowing all the effort that goes and put it into these games is pretty awesome. Well, at least the ones in the past. I don't know about today's games. It was hard to make characters or it takes that long or whatever. Well, yeah, I would, I would think if, if it's if it's true 2D animation, there's no real shortcut for that as far as I know. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to be drawing every... Every frame, you know. Right. By the way, we should also mention too. I've turned off the music in this game uh, simply just because of YouTube mm -hmm. and copyright strikes. Oh, so yeah. We just didn't want to risk it, but um, but a lot of fighting games have amazing music. Mm -hmm. uh, this but, one is it does too. Just to let you guys know. And and Guilty Gear being one that I you know I mean oh, it's yeah. a heavy metal soundtrack. Yeah. It's awesome. Really well done. Yeah. You know? Did you know that game was the guy who does the music does the art. He does all he did, he does everything for the game pretty much. So he doesn't. Like the, the main three things. Really? He created the characters, the huh. gameplay, and the music. I forgot his name. He's like a Renaissance man. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see if I can get her. She's. I think that's a dude. Now, is this game oh, yeah, is. relatively expensive or easy? You know? Uh, I got this one. I think it was, it was a little bit under. Uh, Thirty dollars. Okay. The shipping is what gets you, especially when you're getting from like PAL territories. And and so. the, the thing is that you just never. I mean, you rarely find PSP games, anyways. So, yeah. Yeah. But no, it's not expensive. I mean, especially you could you could get the Japanese version for cheap. I think it's like goes for like fifteen dollars or whatever. So huh. I recommend people get that Ooh. one. Yeah, I'm getting beat up here now. You trying to take advantage of me? <laughs> this guy's really good. I would recommend people try this guy that I'm using. Hmm. If, when, when they start this game, because he's pretty basic. 
it feels like kind of like the Ryu of this game. Maybe I'm wrong though. No. <laughs> Ryu is the basic uh, the basic character of Street Fighter. Pretty much everybody uses. Okay. Okay. The only other game that I, I played that's a, that's a fighting game was uh, I was telling you earlier it was uh, Soul Calibur 2. Ah. Um, good old Soul Calibur. Yeah. I something about that game I just really enjoyed. Again, I'm not like amazing at it or anything, mm -hmm. but. I think it's the graphic style. The I love how fantastic some of the characters are. Mm -hmm. Like the, uh, the the guy who's kind of bent over and kind of weird. Oh, Valdo. Yeah, yeah. Valdo's crazy. I yeah. love that sort of stuff, <laughs> you know? That game, that's probably what considered the best Soul Calibur out there. I mean, that game was a lot of fun. I remember when it first came out, and they had the exclusive characters for each system. I was just going to say, like, every yeah. like wasn't Darth Vader in that one? Or? No, he was in the fourth one. Oh, he was okay. a guest character in that one. But uh, the, in part two, uh, PlayStation 2 got Hihashi from uh, Tekken. Which was kind of like, nah, for us. Uh, Xbox got Spawn. Oh, that's right. And then Nintendo got the best character of all. They got a Link. Oh, so from God. Zelda. Yeah, that's awesome Zelda. that they did that. So, Wouldn't that be cool if every, every you know, these multi-platform games just and did so I guess character? I know. Well, the only people I've seen that seem to do it is, is the, it's the Tekken, or the Tekken and uh, Soul Calibur uh, hmm. games. Uh, the new Tekken game has a... Uh, uh, Akuma in it as a guest character, which is pretty cool. Tekken 7. So. Now, Kratos from God of War was in a fighting game, wasn't he? Soul Calibur... 3? No. It was Soul Calibur... No, that was Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay. He was in Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry. But I think he might have been in Soul Calibur for the PSP. He was in Broken Dynasty for... Wow, I'm getting beat up here. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was in two games. He was in Soul Calibur for Broken Dynasty for the PSP, and he was in Mortal Kombat uh, for PS3. Okay. And actually, Mortal Kombat has started doing that with the X series as well, like having mm -hmm. the uh, like Jason Voorhees. Oh, Jason's um, awesome in that game. He? Yeah, I love it. No, is it just Jason, or did they also do like Freddy and stuff? Freddy was in the Mortal Kombat, the one same one as Kratos was in. Okay. Make a Mortal Kombat. Uh, they got Leatherface as well, which is pretty... Oh, really? Yeah, Leatherface some Does he have a chainsaw? He does. <laughs> and he has like a smooth set called Pretty Lady and all kind of weird stuff. It's insane. <laughs> oh. uh, they also have Alien from uh, the Alien movies. Really? And Aliens in there, yeah. And Predator as well. Oh, dude, Predator. So, so you can do an Alien versus Predator match. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm starting to get beat up here. Take that, kid. Dang. Oh, wow. Got him. Whew. It's getting tough, man. Yeah. I know. It's starting to make me sweat. <laughs> but uh, I think we're almost to the boss. And that's... I probably will hand it over to you because you'll probably beat him. <laughs> I'm getting right. <laughs> we're almost getting there. This guy is good, too. I could have picked him, too. He's like... He uses, like, uh, martial arts and everything. And it's hmm. pretty cool. You think this is a bad matchup because, you know, he has no weapon. He's going against a sword. <laughs> True. Let's see here. Okay. So what's the last fighting game you played, man? Um, that's a great question. Two D fighting game, though. <laughs> well, it's any fighting game. You know, um, it. I don't play them very often. Mm -hmm. it, 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 again, it's 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 not for. I don't know why. I, I should play them more often. I just don't. Um, I, I will tell you though, the reason why I mentioned Mortal Kombat X is because I, I that that appeals to me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very tempted to go buy it, you know, for the oh, PS4. Yeah. yeah. Because, again, it, the graphics just look amazing. Mm -hmm. I love the extra characters, and, and part of me is like, man, if I'm gonna invest time into a, a fighting game, I'm gonna want to actually learn right. how to do it right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I just I don't know. I just don't really have an excuse, but. I always enjoy, and the, actually, the thing is too is I love watching them. Like it's yeah. really cool to watch. You know, it's something I used to do like back when I was when I was a kid because you know I didn't I ran out of quarters pretty fast back in the arcades. So I used to watch people play the fighting games and kind of learn how to play them from watching them because yeah, especially a game like back in the day with Street Fighter Two was all the rave. Uh, you know, guys used to go up to the arcade machine and put their quarters on there to take turns and everything, and that's and that's how I would never get my turn. But I, I could still see good enough to where I could like see them play the game and learn how to do certain moves or see what to avoid when when I did get a turn. Hmm. So that kind of had an effect on me. So if I oh I can't move. Uh oh, did I push something? Oh, I think I did. Oh, the, the lock. Yeah, the lock. I actually <laughs> pushed the lock. On. Wow, dude. Isn't that annoying about the PSP? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, so there's a little lock. Uh, on, on the right hand side on and, mm -hmm. and depending on like sometimes I'll just turn it off too. Yeah, you're like what the heck what's going uh, on? I can't move. I know. know. It's so it's, annoying. It's, it mostly happens to me when I was playing driving games and that's the worst. And as soon as you mess up in a driving game, you're crashing. <laughs>
So <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a d design flaw of the PSP. Like I love so much about it, but they they need to put that on top somewhere. You know? Yeah, they did. How, it's the design for the the uh, last version of the PSP, the one that came out in Europe only. I forgot it was like called the. E oh yeah. The, I wonder if it's. Is it the same layout as the 2000, though? You know, I've Generally. never seen one. So. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, when we did our PSP buying guide, I was actually surprised to actually see it in a Wikipedia article because we never got it. I don't think it sold really well. Look at that. Right. There's something cool there. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I wouldn't mind getting one because it, it looks like it's flat. It's matte you know, mm -hmm. finished, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It'd be... Uh, I, just, I just haven't bought one. I wonder if they're on the sheet. I don't know. I mean, I know it was a Maybe budget. It would be. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to look into getting one, probably. I have actually, I have a PSP, which the 2000, which I'm using right now, and I have a 3000 back at home. Yeah. And uh, I like those a lot. Yeah. I, I had a PSP or 1000 series, but it, it broke on me, so mm -hmm. it got messed up. So I still need to get another one, though. Because that one, you're able to use a lot of uh, accessories with it, like the speaker system. Oh, okay. It was just really cool. It hooks onto that one. It looks, man, that makes that thing like a theater, especially when you watch movies on it. You know, it's funny you mention that because uh, we were watching PSP movies recently as well, doing this right here, just mm -hmm. up it here because I don't have a DVD player down here. Mm -hmm. And so every once in a while, yeah, we'll grab, you know, like a UMD and, right. you know, watch movies. And it's act it, They look great, you know. Yeah, they actually do. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's not quite as good, obviously, as a DVD, mm -hmm. but on this size television, you don't really notice. You know? Yeah, a lot of, with UMD, too, they took a lot of the features out of it, so it's just yeah. pretty bare bones, like yeah. play a movie or change the sound a little bit. Yeah. If you buy UMD movies for the system, that's good, but just make sure you're paying, like, $2 for them. Oh, that's, I know. That's the most I would want to pay for one. Remember, we we're, were looking yesterday. Uh, we're oh, all, yeah. It's like $6, 10 bucks for a movie. I mean... Yeah, like, you're not no. trying to sell that. You're trying to keep yeah. it. I think I think the, the price tags were on there for the past five, ten years. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> they haven't even repriced them. I mean, some movies are maybe be more sought after. I, mean, I think that there are some collectible UMDs, obviously, but... What the, uh, yeah, you know. seriously, you know. How are we going to really watch them? I know. Unless there's something released on the UMD that never made it on another format, which maybe Jesus. that's possible. Mm -hmm. but I, I remember our, our local store here, Fry's, used to have a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, they, had, like, they used to get them all the time, which was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I bought a bunch of mine at a, uh, it was a it was a place in the mall that sold movies. It was like Movie Land or something. Suncoast? Oh, Suncoast. That was I remember it. them. And uh, I, I remember the, the, the UMD movie started at $30 mm -hmm. when they first came out. And I was like, I you know, I could, uh, that was all I could do but just laugh right in their face. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, he's like, come on, man. Come on. What are you guys like, thinking, dude? Less, like, to your point, like, yeah. less stuff and you want to charge me $30. Mm -hmm. No. But it's pretty funny because, yeah, a couple years later, they couldn't give them away. Literally, they were a dollar mm -hmm. piece. And, that's when I bought it. You, you can't argue that you know that they're they're portable because uh, there's portable DVD players where you get cheap movies and watch it yep. on that stuff. So you know UMDs just were kind of doomed. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sony at the time with the PSP, they, you know, they had a lot of things planned for it because mm -hmm. do you remember like music was going to yeah, be a thing on definitely. it too. Like you're gonna, it's going to be your portable iPod. Comic books like you go oh, read right. comic books on it. Yep, yeah, that was that too. Which um, again is uh, that's great that they were so ambitious with it, mm -hmm. but. It, 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 a lot of that didn't pan out. <laughs> you think you think it's because of piracy? Oh, the boss is coming up. You're right. No, I can't. No, I can't do <laughs> no, that. No, no, no. You, you're, you're doing great, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually but, uh, enjoying watching you here. But I thought piracy was maybe the reason why Sony kind of like backed off on what they were doing from it, or maybe no, they were charging too much for a lot of the features or whatever, and people just didn't get into it so. yeah it, and, and on, on for me too like when the PSP first came out the software to even put that stuff on your PSP was ridiculous yeah memory was, card space well and just to, just to get everything into the right folders and stuff was mm -hmm. a pain in the butt so yeah was, yeah yep. Sony is, is is often not great with their software they make amazing hardware mm -hmm. but their software is, is often left you know I don't know it's, it they, they could do better but yeah, they can't. You know, the reason I actually switched it onto another system, why the, the Vita didn't live up to what it could have been from Sony's perspective, is because the memory card. Oh, absolutely. That's what killed it. They Sony killed it. should be giving away that memory card. Yeah. You I mean, know what I mean? Because that, that thing should have some kind of memory built in, or at least, but the memory cards is what, what killed it because, you know. Well, honestly, like, you know, people will, will buy games in the store. Mm hmm. Uh, if they have space, right. and if you don't have space, you can't buy anything in the store. Right. So, I mean, I just, I know, 
they, they can't be that expensive for Sony to make. I think they really should just either be giving them away or for five, ten bucks. So it's not even like an issue. Right. I do. Yeah, he, I hung with him the first round. This round, he just, he's still hitting me after the round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try him again. All right. See if I can get him. But, uh, that's what that's one thing that's always exciting to me about fighting is fighting the boss that's overpowered and beating them. So if I could do it, you know, that'd be awesome. All right. I don't even know if this. Let's try with it. No, let's leave it. Leave it on. What is auto burst? Is that like? I think it, it, it breaks them. It, it knocks them off of you if they're doing a combo on you or something like that. <laughs> I could be wrong though. Yeah. Or yeah, I, I think that's what it's, it's for though. But, yeah. Let's see if I can beat them up this time. Damn. I know, right? Oh, I see. So you're having to block because he's doing that with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Oh, see if I, I would have did some good damage by hitting with that, too. Jeez. You got to combo him into a special move, but did I get it? Damn, I missed it again. See, my timing's off. There's the burst I just did. So. Or maybe it makes me more powerful. Come on! Oh, dude, finish him, though. I know this is like stressful. Oh, dude, you're doing really, you're doing well. Cause I don't want to jinx you. Okay. Okay. All right. One round. One more round. Yeah. We can do it. Hopefully. <laughs> his, it's his, his name is Holy God Earth. Holy God Earth. Well, that, that, that's a name right there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. All the elements. <laughs> okay. Don't get too excited. Come on. I usually get excited when I when right. I do yeah. something. When I beat something I shouldn't beat. But... Oh man, this guy. Yeah. What? You can't hit people on the ground. Come no. on. <laughs> okay. Darn you. All right. My character's mad now. Oh, man. I Come know. on. Wow. It's going to... This game's going to make you work for it. I mean, you're playing on normal. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm doing the wrong moves. Damn, oh. I stunned him there, and I could have come. Oh. It's funny when you stun him; it's like literally only for you know a mm -hmm. second or so. Come on! Oh, oh dude, I feel like oh. I know. Damn. Oh man, that was getting good too. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so we'll wrap it up after this. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. This one here. Last round. Hopefully I win. Yes. Come on. All right. Come on. S send your good vibes, people. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, we're off to a horrible start. Ah. Oh. oh man. He's he's not unbeatable though. No, he's not. It's just yeah. I just have to be better at my combos when I hit him and combo yeah. him. Yeah, because you, you, oh, yeah. you got funny. really close in the last round. I did. Huh. Well, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this Let's Play. That was uh, fun watching you do it. It's, it's fun for me watching, mm -hmm. a, you know, a pro or, you know, yeah. someone who knows what they're doing do this. Thanks, man. You, you think this is something you would play? Like, you would want to pick up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped up now. Yeah, my, my job is done. That's, <laughs> that's what we want. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Checked out Spectral vs. Generation, uh, PSP and PS2. PAL territories and Japanese territories. Though, so. Dude, and where can so. people find you on the internet? Oh, Radical Reggie on YouTube, uh, Radical Reggie on uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram as well. So check me out on those channels. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. You know, originally we had considered having two PSPs connected to each other and then we would fight each other, but I was like, dude, Reggie, you're going to just destroy me. It's going to be so embarrassing. It's going to literally be about five minutes long. <laughs> So instead, he decided to, uh, to see if he could go all the way in the game, and that made it so much better.